and that is the Henderson Middle School Choir here in downtown Henderson as we get ready for our Christmas lighting tree. I want to introduce to you now Mrs. Claudia Morgan Gray, the president of the Main Street Organization. Thank you, David, and welcome, everybody. As David said, I am Claudia Morgan Gray, and I am the current chairman of the Henderson Downsta Downtown Advisory Board. And we are very happy that all of you came out here to help us begin a new tradition in Henderson, the lighting of Henderson. This is the first of many, we hope, and we appreciate you all coming out to join us. Before we get into the ceremony, I'd like to also tell you who the other Main Street Board people are. If they're here, if they'll step up, please. I've got Tony Johnson, Laura Wilkerson, Judy Lewis, Carol Young, Woody Tips, Travis Orr, I believe is helping with the parade, Vincent Henson is here, back over there, Jeremy Cartwright is also, I believe, helping with the parade, as is Michael Marshall, Kim Johnson, Bill Preston, and our Main Street coordinator is Sherry Price, back here, and our city primary city liaisons are Stephanie Riddle, who is our new city uh, secretary, she's over this way, and Kathy Sparks, who is the lifeblood of the Main Street Group, she's our executive assistant. So please give me a round, help me with a round of applause for that group. We are glad to be able to bring you this new tradition of the Christmas tree, but we couldn't do it by ourselves. We are able to do this with the generous uh, support of several of the downtown businesses and businesses here in Henderson. If you would please help me honor Citizens National Bank, East Hex Telephone Cooperative, and Luminate for their generous support of bringing this tree to Henderson. So now we're going to get this show on the road. I am uh, proud to introduce our new mayor, Pat Brack. Thank you. Mayor Brack. Yeah. Merry Christmas, everyone. What'd you say? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay. I want you to know how honored I am to be your mayor. And I promise to do the best. Whoop. That's better. It always takes a good radio man to keep you in shape, okay? <laughs> anyway, I am so honored to be in there, and I'm going to try to do the best job possible for you. Uh, I will probably mess up a few times, but you know what? That's fun to play with all the humans. So I'm going to need all the help I can get from you. Every one of you. We're all citizens of the Henderson. It takes the whole bunch of us to make a family, and I consider Henderson my family home. I hope you do too. Uh, I do want to make a special thank you to our um, Chamber of Commerce in coordinating this, and also the Rainbow Club and the Needle Society, the downtown Main Street group. You can look all around and see the things they do for us. And I just want to make one more plug. If you have a desire to be part of Henderson, get involved. Be part of us. We're always glad to have you. You have good ideas and have lots of work, good work ethics. Thank you all for letting me be there. And then you have a wonderful, wonderful Happy holiday season. Now I'm anxious to hear the choir. <laughs> okay? Here we go. I've, I forgot one acknowledgement. Will you all please help us recognize the Henderson Middle School Choir who is providing the music for us tonight? Next And once again, we will have a, another song from the Henderson Middle School Choir.
Anderson Middle School Choir. Now in just a moment we will have the tree lighting here on the square in downtown Henderson, but before we do that we want to introduce the two girls who are going to be pushing the button tonight and turning on the lights in downtown Henderson. First of all, we have Lainey McKinney. Lainey McKinney is 11 years old. Her mom is Pam Lane, grandparents A.L. and Carolyn Lane. Lainey was diagnosed with Rett syndrome at two years old and walked on her own for the very first time at nine years old. She loves playing with books and playing with beaded necklaces, especially purple ones. And Lainey, Lainey, where's Lainey? There's Lainey right here. Lainey? What would you like for Christmas? She wants more books. More books? <laughs> yeah? Did you say books? <laughs> books would be great. That would be great. More books for Lainey, okay? Lainey right there. That's the first one. And then Addison. Is that right? Addison. Okay, Addison. Addison Hope Standard is a daughter of Kenneth and Christy Standard. She's seven years old and is a second grader at Wiley Elementary School. Addison has two big brothers. You got to put up with two big brothers? Oh, my. Jake, who is 17, and Trent, who is 13. She and her family attend the Bar None Cowboy Church. Now, doctors found a benign brain tumor after a fall that Addison had in February of last year. They were able to successfully remove the tumor last August. During a routine MRI this summer, though, another spot was found in her brain and on her spine. Doctors feared these new spots were malignant, but a biopsy has revealed it is not cancer, but a fungal infection. Oh, fungus is horrible stuff. <laughs> Addison is currently on an antifungal medicine and is closely being monitored by, her, by infectious disease uh, doctors. The last MRI showed no no growth, all right. And doctors are hopeful that the next MRI will reveal the fungus is diminishing as well. Now, Addison, I ask you a question too. What would you like for Christmas? Books. Books also. That is not a copy. No? <laughs> Maybe we can find books for everybody. How about that? That would be wonderful. Well, do you two have a job to do here in just a moment? Are you guys ready? You guys excited? Yeah? Okay. Before that, though, one more song from the Henderson Middle School Choir here, Oh Christmas Tree. Okay, it seems that we've lost our audio across the way here. We'll check and see if everything's working properly. I believe it is. So I'll hang in here till uh, David. Here's the countdown. Two, one, and there's the tree. What a beautiful sight it is as we bring in officially the Christmas season to downtown Henderson. Mr. Jacobs, are you back over? Did you hit the uh, off switch on your microphone? I don't, uh, I don't hear him right now, so he's across the way. The Christmas tree is lit, a beautiful sight it is, and we're just uh, a few minutes away from the Christmas parade. I believe the Christmas parade begins at 6.30 this evening. So come on down and enjoy the parade, enjoy the festivities, and look at the beautiful lights in downtown Henderson. We'll be back right after this commercial break. If you're tired of being the last one to take a as uh, activities as these uh, parade floats come by uh, this evening. We started off, of course, with a uh, tree lighting ceremony a little bit earlier tonight. 
with the Main Street organization. And that was a first, I understand. That was a very first, yes, absolutely. First time for that activity. And uh, hopefully it's going to be a tradition for years to come as well. I want to thank Julie Nichols for doing the camera work back across Julie, the road. That's yeah. right. Julie is our camera, camera lady tonight uh, filming the entire activities. And here comes our official color guard opening the parade. It passes by the reviewing stand. Always an honor to our service, our country, our servicemen from all over the world and veterans. We have leading the parade, the color guard from the Henderson Police Department this evening. Lieutenant Kenny Bird, Sergeant Brian Graham, De uh, Detective James Duke, and Officer Matt Bonet. And the officers consider an honor to carry our con country's colors, the color guard from the Henderson Police Department tonight. And uh, behind them, some more of Henderson's finest. I think that's a chief of police there in the car right there. The Henderson Police Deputy Chief uh, Deputy Chief James Pearson with him, his wife, Nelda. And behind that, the TAC van driven by D Detective Jared Finley. Uh, good evening to you, Finley. Uh, he's, uh, now he's the one you don't want to see wake up in the middle of the night. Yeah, if you see this vehicle in the middle of the night, go somewhere else. Well, that's exactly right. Thanks to uh, Lieutenant Kenny Bird and the entire department for their assistance in traffic control this evening and security. Most County Sheriff's Department. Sheriff uh, Danny Pirtle, driven by Patrol Lieutenant Kenny Ro uh, Kevin Roy. Uh, thank you so much to them, the sheriff tonight, and uh, Lieutenant Roy with him. Sheriff Pirtle would like to thank the citizens of Russ County for allowing him to serve the last four years. He says it's all about serving the citizens in a safe environment. I see a sign that says uh, Christmas Parade, Rotary Club of Henderson. Now this is the traditional parade banner. Uh, and those carrying it are members of the Henderson Rotary Club. This club is an extremely active civic club in town. Uh, among other projects, they participate in the Texas Highway Trash Pickup. They purchase and distribute more than 600 dictionaries for all the third graders at eight Russ County schools each year. They also provide substantial local scholarships as well as support for international projects through the Rotary Foundation. They've also provided traffic control tonight for the parade and for more years than any of them would care to remember. <laughs> so uh, looks like our honorable mayor is uh, coming up. Is that, is that what we have right here? That's right. Newly elected mayor Pat Brack. A big applause for Pat Brack tonight. Thanks. Mayor Pat Brack has served the city as a council member and representative for District 5 for five years. She is uh, the city council. She and the city council employees wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. Behind that is Russ County District Attorney Michael Jimerson and his wife Mona with son David and grandson Waylon. Michael says thank you to Russ County for electing him to a third term. They're in the red car this in the red car this year. I think I hear a band in the I distance. I think you do. <coughs> Looking very Next good. Merry Christmas to y'all. Next in the uh, the uh, well, the Corvette here is uh, Commerce Chamber of Commerce President Steve Pearson, <laughs> driven by Vice President Charles Rader. <laughs> now that's a crew right yeah, there. I can't turn the lights on. That's a that's a problem right there. Uh huh. Oh, I tell you what, the Chamber organizes the Christmas Parade every year and sponsors Leadership Henderson class annually and many, many more community and business events. Got an opportunity to participate in that class last year, Henderson Leadership class. I hear music coming our way. I think, we, oh, in front of them, though, we're the high school sweepstakes winning Lionettes, consisting of 39 girls this year. The Lionettes perform throughout the year for football and contests and annual spring show. Officers include Captain Autumn Ashcraft, Captain Catherine Davis, First Lieutenant uh, Dana Ma uh, Mason and uh, Senior Lieutenant Macy uh, Boundstead, Senior Lieutenant Holly Watson, Junior Lachea Wade. The Lionettes are directed by Monica Hatchell and Gloria Smith. And now coming up, the world renowned, the world famous. That's exactly right. The pride of Henderson, the marching band under the direction of Tommy Moore and Jason Chamberlain. Lady does the finest military marching band in the nation. Right drum majors, that's right. Oh, right here. They are. Drum majors, senior. Uh, drum majors, senior Tori Clifton and junior Jane uh, Jasmine Maps. Featuring twirler is Natalie McQuiston. The band is over 230 members, the largest in Class 3A. Many of the majorettes have qualified for UIL State Twirling Competition. The band has also won many awards, including first division performances at UIL Region 21, marching contests, as well as, uh, let's see, uh, as you mentioned earlier, the uh, 
the State Military National Association of Military Marching Bands. And uh, they made an official visit to the state competition in San Antonio. That's right. First division there as well. Uh, they uh, have had an illustrious career, especially this year. Done a great job. Next is the Henderson High School Band Sweetheart and Bo. Natalie McQuiston and Bo is Jose Ross. Merry Christmas to y'all. There you go. Merry Christmas. Behind them is the Lionette sweetheart, Holly Watson, driven by Peaches Jackson. Holly is a four-year member of the Lionettes and holds position of senior lieutenant on the drill team. Holly is planning to attend Stephen F. Austin and major in education. Hey, Lumberjack. Behind that, the Russ County Middle School Campus Crime Stoppers, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade members active and encouraging others to get involved and help stop crime in the community. And here again, being community leaders at an early age. That's exactly right. Very active group there. Behind them, the Russ County Sheriff's Office Sergeant Vicki Pinney, Crime Prevention Officer McGruff, the Crime Dog and Animal Control Officer Matt Lithium. Lithium? I don't know how to say that. There you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Vicki, you have to correct me there. Oh, I mean, she's got a crew of kids with her back here, yeah, too. She's got McGruff, so she's she got, got a McGruff. Yes, yes, there. Yes. There you go. Behind uh, the Russ County Sheriff's Office there, the Chamber Ambassadors and Silver Stars. Uh, Ambassadors Dean Sinners is uh, one of Gabriel Jordan's great-looking pickup trucks. He's driving tonight in that nice white Suburban. That's not a pickup truck. That's a Suburban right there. If I, if I would look at it, I would recognize that. The Ambassadors and Silver Stars. Now, i got to ask, Dean, are you an ambassador or a Silver Star? He's an ambassador, yeah. So far, Silver Silver Star is coming, though, so faster than we all wanted to, right? Yeah. How are, you've got two great organizations Absolutely. within the chamber that are out working all the time promoting the community. They all do a super job. There's some ambassadors right behind them here in the go-karts. That's right. Some more ambassadors. Wes, and oh, look at that. Vicki and Martha and the whole crew back there. Well, look at all those folks back there. Bonnie leading the pack over there. Ambassadors here from the Chamber of Commerce. Next is the Grandview Missionary Baptist Church in their float entitled The Little Drummer Boy, who first play, who played the first musical notes for our Lord and Jesus, uh, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, driven by Bill Henry. They are second place in the not-for-profit competition. Oh, very good. And you can see why. A major scene. Uh, Absolutely. With the star above the manger and the drummer boy. A live nativity scene. The Grandview Missionary Baptist Church. Behind them, the East Texas Twirling Academy of Henderson. Put your hands together for this outstanding marching unit dressed in traditional Santa hats this evening. Big applause for them. Uh, what, now, this, this is a tradition right here. I, they've, been, they've been here for over a decade. <laughs> over a decade. And John, John does a great job. Of, uh, we're talking about history now. History in the making right here because this young lady not only was a twirler jack, but he was a head twirler jack. Do the choreography for the CF Austin Twirl Jacks, among other things. They have participated in this parade for a continuous time for 43 years. That's four decades. 43 years. Uh, founded in 1969, she's maintained enrollment of 100 to 75 to 100 students for many, many years. A wonderful group there, the East Texas Twirlers uh, and Dance Academy. Oh, the, uh, oh, is this part of the same, this part of the same group right here? There they are. Uh, they've got a truck behind them pulling all the ones that couldn't quite walk the entire trip. Well, the parade is quite long. That's right. They are quite young. Miss Jones. Merry Christmas to y'all. And Miss Page wish all of you a very Merry Christmas. Behind that is Keith Henderson Beautiful, driven by former Mayor Buzz Fullen. We knew he had a position in this. He got himself in this parade one way or the other. I tell you, he always <laughs> does, doesn't he? Leon Harris and Carol Pace, uh, and riders with them, uh, extremely active folks, a part of the Keep Henderson Beautiful. If you've noticed the, the planters and the flowers along the Highway 79, that's part of Keep Henderson Beautiful. The plants off to our left and right here in the park in the, in the uh, center here, also part of that as well. David, I, are you hungry? I'm a little bit hungry. What is this? I haven't had a sandwich. Oh, that looks like a major, that's not a six inch, that's like a 12 foot sandwich right there. Subway of Henderson's entry is an inflatable that is the exact replica of a sandwich made to your special order. 
It, it made me remember I haven't had my evening meal yet. Uh, yeah, my stomach's growling myself. Ten feet and uh, ten feet long and six feet tall, designed and built by the same manufacturer as the Macy's Day Parade balloons. Subway of Henderson. We have some young people from uh, Fort Armour. Fort Armour Academy. That's right. Fort Armour Christian Academy, the only school to offer Christian education in West County. The school is located on FM 3135 on behalf of the Full Armor and Warrior Cheerleaders. would like to thank everyone and wish them a very Merry Christmas and a Warriorful New Year. Behind that, a big truck. It's the Boy Scout Troop 316 and the Cub Scout Pack 554. I tell you what, that, that, that trailer is full of scouts, I assure you. You're doing a great job. At, what do you say? Is it? Is it long? 547. We got it. We got it now. Cub Scout Pack 547. Is that right? No, oh, there we go. There it must go. be. <laughs> now they're cheering you. Now they're cheering you. They are. They are. They are. There are a lot of scouts. I see Weeblos out there. I see some second year Weeblos. I see some Bobcats and some Bears and some Tiger Cubs. Tiger's Keckman Kayak. There's the Sasha Keckman right there out there. Sasha, can you hear me tonight, Sasha? All right, good deal. Cub Scouts of Pack 547 tonight on an extra long trailer there. Now behind them, Jerry, we have the Tumble and Cheer owned by Melanie Stanley. It's been in business for 19 years. Students are boys and girls ages four and up, ranging from beginner to elite tumblers. Tumble and Cheer also has an all-star competition cheerleading program, and it is in its 13th year. They've won numerous awards, trophies, and even some national titles. Well, David, I'm watching these youngsters do these hand spins and turns and whatever, and I tell you what, can you do that? Could you do that a half a block? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, I'm right there. <laughs> I don't think so. Look at these youngsters. They're doing a great job. I don't think so. I'm, I have to, I'm going to have to give them uh, an applause. A big right round of applause. Yeah. Oh, great great job. Yeah. There you go. Uh, they have, they're smart. They wore gloves tonight. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Uh, in years past, it's always been smart to have those gloves. And if you're doing that on the asphalt, that probably uh, does. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. Well, here's some talent. One, right here. two, two, three, four, five. Five hand springs. Okay, here they come. Here we go, another one. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa, Six, wow. Seven. Eight. Eight. Wow. wow. I would lose my lunch. <laughs> There's just no way. No way. Tumble and cheer. If you just joined us, this is the Henderson Christmas Parade, downtown Henderson. You're listening to KPXI. Brought to you in part by Jordan Plant Farm and Shoemaker Scrap and Metal. Next is the Center Stage Dance and Twirl, owned by Kathy Dunn and has been in business for more than 24 years. Studio staff includes Lindsay Bridges and Shayna Pryor. Leading the studio is the award-winning Center Stage All-Stars, coached by Lindsay Bridges and Shayna, Shayna Pryor. Center Stage offers jazz, tap, ballet, and drill team and twirling up to ages 18, 2 to 18. There's a lot of twirlers here in Henderson. <laughs> and, and there's some that... Uh, Twirler to me. Uh, uh, that's right. <laughs> they're young and waving and they're enjoying the Christmas parade. Merry, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Love that. There she goes. Look at her. She's smiling. <laughs> She's ready to go. <laughs> now, can you twirl, Jerry? Can you can you do all those baton no. things? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Judy, are you, able to, you can't, you're not a twirler either, huh? I've never heard that she could do it. <laughs> my, my arthritis won't uh, do it anymore. <laughs> I tried that at Thanksgiving at my son's house. Uh, this year? Yeah. <laughs> Twirling a... Uh, oh, I can't do that anymore. Oh, me. I never could. Never was any good at it. We also want to say thank you to some of our sponsors tonight, including East Tech's Telephone and Henderson Federal Savings, a couple of our sponsors this evening, uh, bringing you uh, the Christmas parade here in downtown Henderson. Also, thank you to the Henderson Chamber of Commerce and the Rotary Club for making it possible. Uh, those two organizations working hard tonight, keeping everyone lined up and ready to go. Next on our list here, coming around the, down the street here, on down Main Street, is the Henderson FFA Sweetheart. And that's going to be Shel is that Shelly? Shelly Lewis. Shelly Lewis riding in a fairway Ford pickup truck. Driven by Kelly. How are you? Did you know Kelly's got that, that she has a, she that has that, 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 that I like that. Looking good. Shelly <laughs> Lewis. 
our uh, sweetheart, the FFA Henderson sweetheart tonight. Behind that is the Children's Place Creative Learning Center where our little angels come to learn every day. They play and use their intellectual minds. They have a Christmas tree with all the kiddos on the back of the trailer there. And a big sign that says Merry Christmas. Children's Place Creative Learning Center. Merry Christmas. And behind that, stand up straight and tall. It's the U.S. Army Recruiting Station. Doing what? Suck it in. We are on review tonight. <laughs> Looking good. Hey, hey and, and uh, Sergeant Jonathan Shirley. Uh, oh, he's full of stuff. Yeah. And Private Chandy DeRosso. Out there. The toughest missions, the best trained soldiers, the Army. Behind that is the at home health care truck. They've been serving Henderson community for 19 years. The largest home health agency in Russ County. They wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. A couple of their cars here. Following them is the Mount Enterprise First United Methodist Church. The church family wants to give a special holiday happy birthday to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and invite you to join them on Wednesdays and Sundays for fellowship. Happy birthday, Jesus. Gifts of health. And they have the balloons and all. They're ready for a birthday. They party. are. I, I like that. First United Methodist Church in Mount Enterprise. Right behind them is the Russ County Electric Co Electric, excuse, I'm sorry, no, West Russ, F FCCLA, sweetheart. That's a lot of apples. Shanelia Harper. <laughs> Got the name. All right. There she is, Shanelia Harper. Family, community, leadership, leadership. leadership. Yeah, yeah, I, I was working on that, and my yeah. is, my bifocals didn't work. Now here's the here we go. West County Electric Cooperative. Hey, the power guys. They they keep us on the air. Hey, right, hey. Right, right, east, east, right east of town. That is exactly right. Celebrating 75 years of the West County Electric Co-op. It's the home team advantage, locally owned and operated, serving members in West Panola, Greg, Shelby, and Nacogdoches counties since 1937. 1937. Russ County Electric Co-op. Behind them, with a, you know, a carry-on, uh, a carousel, uh, a big oh, bear. Right. Hey, that, right. that's not a bad deal. The Henderson Rescue Unit with their rescue boat is They're bringing good. along the high school freshman cheerleaders. Freshman cheerleaders are Dristina Drist, uh, Bianquez. Oh my goodness, Casey Copeland, Ab Abby Gale, uh, Gallion, Hannah Poole, Tamara Powell, Brittany Riley, Tori Self, Lakin Shelton, Brooklyn Smith, Carolyn Spivey, Bailey Taylor, and Emily Waller. They are coached by Julia Cassard. Cassard. Behind them, encouraging you not to text while driving, the Russ County Health Department. Pay attention, East Texas, driving. Yeah. Look at their vehicle here. I don't know. Okay, there, there's somebody that must have been texting to have that accident. That's wow. what happens when you text and drive at the same time. Take the pledge. Just drive. Just drive. Behind that is Delana's, Delana's Twirl Girls. A group of girls ages four and older who share the love of baton twirling. Elena Cochran is the instructor and choreograph choreographer. She's a twirler at the Henderson Middle School and High School as well as Kilgore College and SFA Twirler Jack. Jack. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Beautiful good. young ladies. There's a, a wee one right there. Yeah, a tiny oh, one right there. there. Yes. Of all sizes and ages. That's yes. right. Twirling competitions. They're preparing for twirling competitions around the East Texas area. The Key Club, Henderson High School Key Club sweetheart is Emily Holmes and Bo is Jamie Anthony. Driven by Jurg Sarah, Sarda? Sarda? Did I get that right? The club is sponsored right. by the Kiwanis Club locally here and uh, letting those young people learn how to uh, be leaders and, and right. manipulate in, in Emily, society. Emily is a daughter of Jamie and Sherry Holmes, and Jamie is the son of Sherry and late Jamie Anthony. Emily is a band council co-president, editor of the high school yearbook. Jamie is a member of the superintendent's advisory committee and the Rotary Interact Club. He's also a varsity letterman for the Lion football and track teams. Now, the truck says Lowe's, but that's not the case. No, yes, it is. Well, it is the case. And, in fact, they are the second-place winners in the commercial division. Well, and I can see why. Lowe's Home Improvements. 
a Christmas tree, an uh, archway. That's uh, right. This and, and uh, gosh, uh, behind there we have a couple a of snow freezing Santa. Uh, one, freezing. One, of the, one of the snowmen are really cold. Uh, they're really cold. Lowe's Home Improvement. It's right. Right. Congratulations yeah, on your honor. Well, uh, he's just a snowman. Uh, that's great. Lowe's, our second place in commercial. Coming up is a very large trophy. That is a huge trophy out there. That comes from Luke's Mixed Martial Arts, certified black belt instructor from Brazil. Luke Martinez teaches Taekwondo and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Don't and make Ta these guys mad. Taylor, they don't know. They, you don't want them mad. You want them on your mad. side. That's exactly right. Merry Christmas. Christian-based academy teaching the discipline of courage, respect, and character. Luke's Mixed Martial Arts. Right there in the middle of the road. Behind him is Vera Fletcher riding a 2012 Spider. I was going to say, is that a Batmobile? That is a Spider. Those are cool. Could, could, I, I could, I could do that. Could you, could I, you drive that? I think that'd be kind of weird. You need a station yeah. vehicle like that, Jerry. Yeah, yeah. It's got three wheels. I can make it stay up. <laughs> Beautiful vehicle. That's right. Now, don't they make those vehicles uh, right down the road here? Uh, they, 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 there is a place down the road that they make them. Yeah. That's right. Hey, got a flat screen television? We got one right here in the middle of the parade. Ballard Bail Bonds. Merry Christmas from Brent, Nicole, and Cohen, and all of them at Ballard Bail Bonds. They are number hey, one. No, 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 no. First place. The first place in the commercial competition. You guys want a big applause for our first place winners out here. Big applause. Yeah, I could, I would have been a good for you. Yeah, I I could, I could, that's lights right. everywhere, big screen television. Absolutely. We have another band coming our way. The Henderson Middle School Band has been working hard this year under the direction of Spike Bowie, drum majors Ellen Holmes and Alicia Pryor, majorettes Allison Landon, Tamara Dixon, Emma Baker, Rebecca Weatherford, Lori Tori Lewis, Oh, and the list goes on and on. There's my son, by the way, right there, marching. There he is. He's a drummer. He is a drummer right there. The short one. <laughs> yeah, sorry. He is. Caitlin Ginsley, uh, Kelly uh, McAllister, and Riley Combs are preparing for region tryouts this Christmas and the Christmas concert. They performed at four football games this year. Here's the high school, the middle school, school cheerleader. Excuse me. Hannah Perry, Tori Lewis, Hannah Rojas, and Howie Lingle, Jody Isaac, Josie Sinji, Jamie Baum, Bowman, Joy Williams, Kylie Carroll, Samara Caldwell, Caitlin Shipley, Caitlin Ganey, Tiffany Gross, Andrea Langley, and Anna Kate Mansinger. Woo! Did we get them all? Did we get everybody? All right. All right. We got Merry all. Christmas. Merry Christmas from the Henderson Middle School cheerleaders. They were watching. They, did you notice each one was waiting for their name? They were waiting for you did, right. you did a, a good job. Woo! Woo! Oh, sorry, from Joel again. <laughs> I thought we, I thought they were moving. Yeah, these vehicles. Yeah, these, these look like Jerry. Them. These are the H, the uh, A through H, is it? Uh, oh, that's, okay. <laughs> these muscle cars, the Mustang owners of Henderson. Oh, okay. The Mustang A through H. A through H. Okay, the Mustang owners through Henderson. Oh, oh, I got you. So I, is there, I tell you what, these are some classy vehicles. Right yeah, here. Yeah, H through Z. No, 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 okay, no. okay. Harvey Neal. Tasha Andrews, Tasha Andrews, Chris Palilli, pa Palella. Palella, and Chris's brother, Mr. Palella, Greg Anderson, Oscar Bishop, Jason, just Jason, he just goes by Jason, he goes here by Jason, yeah, Jason, Jason. Madonna. that's right, like Madonna, he just goes by Jason, the first name, and Joseph Irwin, the Mustang owners of Henderson. There's some old Mustangs and some new Mustangs. That's a 1980s. 85 to 2020. I used to have one like that. <laughs> and there's a new one, a GT. There's some nice ones there. Hey, they're all nice. Did you ever own a Mustang, Jerry? I never did. Never did. Never had a Mustang. My first car was actually a Mustang. I was trying to We had, what, eight? Are they ten of them? <laughs> there's seven of them. Seven, seven, seven vehicles for our radio audience that are listening to the parade on KPXI. Silver and blue and several different colors. Next up behind the Mustangs are the Carlisle FFA and Junior FFA. Their entry is entitled, Let Us Present a Joyous Note. These bright and cheerful faces waving at you tonight wish you a very happy, safe, and blessed 
holiday season from Carlisle, the Carlisle FFA. They're zipping along right there. I wonder if they built their own trailer this year. I don't know. <laughs> I bet they did. They sell a project. They sell a lot of them in the project show. Next up is the Carlisle School Girls School. Excuse me. Let's try that again. Carlisle Girl Scout Troop 2492, and the Carlisle. There you go. The Cub Scout Pack 318 with their entry of red, white, and blue. God bless our troops, the theme of their of theirs. We have another group coming up, and uh, let's see what we're going to do. Have we got time? I think we've got time. Let's take a quick break. Fencing, the name East Texans, no one trust, is Duncan Fence Company in Wicklaw. Whether it's commercial, residential, oil field locations, Duncan Fence Company has got it covered. From chain link to barbed wire, privacy fencing, pipe fencing, wood, wrought iron, even cattle guards, call Duncan Fence Company. Whether it's keeping them out or keeping them in, call Duncan Fence Company at 903-658-538. 903-658-5382 for Duncan Fence Company in Rec Club. Duncan Fence, one of our sponsors tonight. Next up in the parade lineup is Rita's Gym, the Energetics. Let's give a big hand for the Energetics. Big applause here. There we go. They have won honors in state, regional, district, and national championships. Rita has been teaching them since 1978. Uh, they've also uh, been teaching levels through eight, through uh, grade through level eight in gymnastics, and through level ten in tumbling. Now they're, so, they're getting their exercise, they're stretching out. Some of them are going right. into the splits I and kind of so. making sure that they're limber and ready to go. Ouch! <laughs> How do they do that? I see Mrs. Corley out there, by the way. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And. Uh, if you've been listening to Beckmore football, she's uh, doing the halftime for us. That is Rita's gym, the Energetics. Behind them, the Henderson High School Junior Varsity Cheerleaders, Amelia Alford, Bailey Bradley, Karen Darrow, Brittany Isaac, Kaylee uh, Velas Velasquez, Morgan Weaver, and Brianna Williams. In a truck right in the back uh, being towed. This is going to be the Henderson High School Junior Varsity Cheerleaders. There's some more handspins. I think some more yeah. handstands back here. Yeah. That's right, handsprings over here. Yeah, so I'm going to have to learn how to do that. <laughs> I can just see you. <laughs> and here come... Uh, there's still some more... Oh, more Jim. Jim. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Merry Christmas to y'all. Merry Christmas. The Energetics, they call them. I think they have earned their name. <laughs> earned their name well. A fairway Ford truck bringing the junior varsity cheerleaders by. Merry Christmas. They're not quite as active. They're not doing handsprings. Are they? They're kind of bundled up here. <laughs> but they're warm. They are warm. <laughs> That's true. Right behind that, the high school homecoming queen, Karen Morales. She's a daughter of Pedro and Flora Morales. She's a member of the National Honor Society and has served as secretary of her class. She's an active member in the Key Club, Line at Drill Team, and Crime Stoppers. Behind that, I believe these are football members, the 2012 Henderson Lions Varsity Football Team. All right, let's hear from. All right. They have qualified for the playoffs in District 16-3A, the District of Doom. Many considered uh, the toughest district in the state. This week they meet Salina. That's tomorrow night. Of course, we'll have that game live on 100.7 FM tomorrow evening starting at 7 o'clock. They play at Hamby Stadium in Mesquite tomorrow evening. You can get your tickets, by the way, up until noon tomorrow at the high school and the middle school. I understand school is going to be letting out just a little early. To two hours. Two hours tomorrow. That's to right. be prepared. Following the varsity football team is the varsity cheerleaders on Scott Hammett's record. The varsity cheerleaders and the mascot there. Oh, I'm going to stand up there. Merry Christmas to y'all. Looking good. The varsity high school cheerleaders. He does. He's got his reindeer ears on. Yeah, right? you know, that's a big record. <laughs> Think about that. That is huge. Yeah. That's for all those oil trucks around here. Right behind that is the Cultural Arts Social Club, sweetheart, Miss Trinity McAllister, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Tommy McAllister, little princess, Miss Leandria Hogan. She's the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Dan Hogan. Also included is Miss Kay, Miss Kai Asha Dunham, Miss McKinley Ruth Brown, and Miss Tatiana Kimsha Starling, and Miss McCresha Porter. 
Now, I can tell you what's coming up next, because these are going to be the Shriners, and if everybody will kind of back up and give them a little room, I think so. they will put on a show for you. It's the Hot Rodders unit of the Sharon Shrine Temple of Tyler, unit based right here in Henderson, it is comprised of Shriners who are members of the local temple. They attend parades and other events to encourage philanthropy of the Shrive of North America and the Shriners Children Hospital. Shriners are known for their colorful parades, their circuses and clowns. They're also a serious side of the international fraternity of approximately 500,000 men, belonging to 191 shrine temples throughout North America. For 75 years, the shrine has operated a network of specialized hospitals that treat children with orthopedic problems, burns, and spinal cord injuries up to their 18th birthday, absolutely free of charge. The best known symbol of the Shriner is the distinctive red fez that he wears at official functions. Shriners are men who enjoy life, so fun is a large part of the Shrine activities that help support the Shriners' philanthropy. All right, cool question. Are you yeah. ready? Yeah. The first Triple Children's Hospital in the nation was built where? Texas, Shreveport, Louisiana, built wow. in 1922. There you go. A great legacy starting right there in Shreveport, right up the road. Now we have a, a Burn Institute in Galveston. We have a Crystal Children's Hospital in Houston. So East Texas, uh, if you've got a youngster that needs assistance, birth through 18 years of age, uh, we can take care of you. And I love these guys and what they do. Good to thank you, Ray. <laughs> you know, and they never wreck. They never wreck. They come close. <laughs> <laughs> but they never do. Great guys doing a great organization, doing some great things. But right behind that is the Henderson Animal Shelter. The Henderson Animal Shelter, driven by Veronica Whittington. Their entry is entitled Hound Dog with Elvis Presley and the Pound Puppies. Oh, this yeah, is the Shriners. Shriners. We're, we're, we're bringing up the, the rear of the Shriners. We've right got the Shriners support vehicles back yeah. here. The hot rod units. The hot rod units. Help us help children. Our kids and their kids. And the next up is, as we said, the Henderson Animal Shelter. Driven by Veronica Whittington. They're entitled, their entry entitled... Hound Dog with Elvis Presley and the Pound Puppy. There ain't nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> Looking good. I like it. That's a good float. Looking sharp. Elvis and the Pound Puppies. That's Elvis in front. Oh, there he is. There he is. Elvis is still in the building. <laughs> right, Guitar, well. black leather jacket. Come on, Elvis. Let's see, see, see your show now. Look at the youngster here. Oh, here the cat little, face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly still. I, I, I looked and had to make sure that was a real person there. Next behind the animal shelter, we have uh, Crim's Chapel Volunteer Fire Department. The Crim's Chapel and their dog, their mascot, the dog. In the brush truck. Is that a brush truck? No, a rescue vehicle. What is that one? Uh -huh. It's a fire truck. It's a fire truck. R15. Sorry. Yeah, that's unit 15. 15. That, that must be rescue 15. Rescue 15. That's what I'd there say. Go. Hey, we got it right. There we go. We, our speculation was correct. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good. Merry Christmas to y'all. A red truck and a white truck. A couple of white trucks. And the command unit here. Command unit 15. R15, A15, and command 15. There you go. Do you need unit 15 Crims. anywhere? <laughs> Crims Chapel Volunteer Fire Department. Next up, Jerry, is a first place contender. Okay. Our first place contender in the not-for-profit division, the Down Home Cloggers, based in Longview, Texas. Okay, uh, Mr. Chenault, I want you to do that all the way down the parade. No, no, not right now. Oh, all the way down the parade. Yeah. And see if you're windy when you get finished. <laughs> no, no. They have a they have a nice bar established here so they can hold on. That's, that? that's just in case they make a sharp turn. The down home cloggers. Merry Christmas to y'all. You're winning, winning good. Winning first place. The first place. First place in the not-for-profit division. The down home cloggers. They even got lights on their pants, Jerry. Look they do. 
You know, I can remember a few years ago, a long time ago, that the high school band used to put lights on their uniforms and watch the Christmas parade. The down home quarters. Next, we have the Northwest Division champion Texan football team. There they are. Congratulations. With an 8-2 and two record this year, the Texans. Get a little bit of spirit there. <laughs> Behind them are the Cotton Club Riders, a motorcycle club established about seven years ago in Longview. Riders from all across East Texas and Houston. In addition to our social riding, they participate in numerous community action programs, such as a citywide Longview cleanup. Uh, they have the assist, they assist with feeding the homeless. They do collections for shelters, to toys for tots, and they're dedicated to family and friends. They wish everyone a very merry A little bit of their uh, motorcycle revving. Those are special mufflers that they have over there. <laughs> the Cotton Club Riders. Coming up next is the Texas A&M Forestry Service and Smokey Bear. Then we have uh, the uh, Dover, that so often is out in the woods uh, making sure that we don't have any major forest fires. And there's Smokey the Bear in the back. Coming up the rear. Smokey Bear in the back of the Forest Service pickup truck. Yeah. Smokey Bear says only you can prevent forest fires. That's correct. Merry Christmas, Smokey Bear. Following the forestry service here in downtown Henderson is the Russ County Panthers. The Russ County Panthers, formerly known as the Russ County Oilers, the Panthers, will be a new team with new board members to lead the Pop Warner 2013 football and cheer season. Football teams place first and second with their cheer squad placing first. And that's the cheerleaders leading the crew. I, I tell you what, it, 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 their instructor almost uh, was wiped out there. She <laughs> wasn't moving quite fast enough. All right. The West County Panthers happen to be the third place for the not-for-profits. The West County Panthers. Coming up next is the East Texas Antique Tractor Engine Association. Here come the tractors. Uh, these guys go everywhere. Now that is an amazing truck right there. Yeah, that's, that used to be a, a fire truck. That's a part of a fire truck. Wow. That is an amazing 1928. The East Texas Antique Tractor Association and Engine Association organized in 1995 with just 10 members. They have now grown to over 100 members today with all, from all walks of life and from all over Texas and Louisiana. The purpose of the club is to educate the public on the importance of farming and, has, and what it has had, the hand it's had in shaping East Texas and the surrounding areas. They have tractors from all makes and all models from the early 20s to 1960. They also have early farming equipment, old hit and miss engines. With a rumble seat. They got a rumble seat. Yeah. Did you know they put a rumble seat on a tractor? Right. I didn't know that, but I do now. And I believe this is uh, Dustin Nichols here, right here. From, 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 from Troop, Texas. From Troop and a BF Avery, Dustin Nichols. Okay, Dustin, you got to wave big now for us. There you Merry go. Christmas. Dustin is the husband of Julie Nichols, our camera woman over here. And uh, Sammy Nichols right behind there. Sammy, constable right here in town. One of our West County constables hey, there. Wait, is he here? Is he here? Because he's here. Is he here? The one with the children ready. He is here. It's Santa Claus on a Henderson fire truck. Thanks to the Henderson Fire Department for bringing Santa Claus to town. Santa Claus on top of the ladder truck. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Merry Christmas, Santa. Santa Claus making his appearance here at the parade. And we're going to take a quick 
30-second break here. We'll be back with more from the Henderson Christmas Parade on KPXI and KWRD, the heartbeat of East Texas. East Texas Telephone proudly supports the KPXI schools and the athletes. When you make a phone call, who do you think is on the other end? It's your neighbors, friends, and community leaders who work at East Texas Telephone Co-op Incorporated. They work hand in hand to serve this community because they know you, providing the community with excellent internet and telephone service. So call them today at 903-854-1000 or get on the website at EastTex.com to learn more. East Tex Telephone Co-op Incorporated and East Tex Net, large enough to serve you, but small enough to know you. One of our many sponsors, East Texas Telephone. Next on our list is the uh, Fire Horse Farm right here in the, in the area. Fire Horse Farm Therapeutic Equestrian Center. Their mission is to improve the quality of life for children and adults with disabilities. Through programs of horsemanship and education, the Fire Horse Farm would like to thank its many supporters whose donations make this service possible. Fire Horse Farm's float is followed by Chief, a miniature donkey. Oh, and yes, we're having a pit stop right here. <clears throat> that's why they come after Santa Claus. Right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Chief, uh, leaving a souvenir for all of us. Right behind that is the Fire Horse Farms Volunteer Pony and Cart with their, uh, with their donkeys here. Following them is the Russ County Cowgirl, Cheyenne Yandel, Tara Griffin, Morgan Cooley, Candy and Loray Taylor, Courtney and Chelsea and Megan Kennedy. The Russ County Cowgirls. Now you saw them perform at the rodeo recently uh, for a uh, kind of a halftime performance and, uh, and also during the opening ceremonies at the uh, Russ County Rodeo. The Merry Christmas to y'all. Russ County Cowgirls. Now, Jerry, I think you need a pair of chaps like those. You'd look good in those kind of chaps. You so? I, I think so. Those look like they're pretty expensive to me. <laughs> Oh, another one of our favorites, the Pete and Polk and the Riders. This is the 28th year that Pete has participated in the Henderson Christmas Parade. 28 years. They have participated. Several horse units uh, now ringing up. We have Cowboy Church right here. Here comes the Barnum Cowboy Church, the outside Outsiders Drill Team. They worship Jesus as Lord and Savior and embrace the cowboy and Western culture. The Barnum Cowboy Church. The sign on the back says, follow me to church. There you go. <laughs> the Barnum Cowboy Church riders here, all distinguishedly uh, marked by their, uh, where the saddlebags would normally go, uh, a little banner that says Barnum Cowboy Church. And some more of the Mounted Patrol. Now, there's my size, <laughs> right there. <laughs> Some settling coming by. A little Merry picture. Christmas. <laughs> With lights around the halter. Uh, yeah, hey, look, speaking of lights. Oh, what Christmas lights around their halters, their bridles. Some more horses as we come through. Toward the end of the Christmas parade, we've had a great night tonight. Beautiful night, temperature just right. The chamber ordered it just for everyone to enjoy. And the last one here is the Russ County Mounted Patrol. Merry Russ Christmas. County Mounted Patrol here. There's David Powell out there. Not David Powell from the Farm and Ranch Report, but the other David Powell in town here, riding down here. Thanks so much to the Russ County Mounted Patrol. Well, it is time for the uh, the city of Henderson <laughs> to clean the street. Clean up on aisle one here. <laughs> clean up on Main Street. Uh, well, what a beautiful parade. And congratulations to the Chamber of Commerce as well as congratulations to the Rotary Club for keeping it moving smoothly. It has been a wonderful parade tonight, starting off with a tree lighting by Main Street and now the parade. Judy, uh, it's been another wonderful year, another wonderful parade coming to a close. Well, absolutely, and this just brings in the holiday season. Santa's now in town. He'll be in his house beginning on uh, Saturday, I believe. And uh, we want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. Thank you very much to KPXI for broadcasting our parade. We appreciate your help that you give us every year.